Hello folks, welcome to Sherwood Park Toyota located at 31 Automall Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada. Today I'm going to be showing you this 2017 Corolla SE Upgrade. One of the most suitable features on the Upgrade is its backup camera as well as its power moonroof and its seated front seats. Now I'm going to go through a couple more features on the inside and outside of the vehicle just to get you better familiar with this 2017 Corolla SE Upgrade. Let's get started. To start, we're going to be taking a look at a couple of the exterior features that you will see on the SC upgrade. One of them being is your newly redesigned front end with the um, aggressive uh, grill styling for the SC. You also have your LED headlights as well as your auto daytime running lights. And if we just take a look on the side here, you're going to see your 17 inch aluminum alloy wheels. Over on your mirrors you have your integrated signal lamps as well as your vortex generators and with your vortex generators they actually assist with the aerodynamics of the vehicle. You can also find them on the back of your tail lamps as well. And the color we're taking a look at today is slate metallic. Now to start off with we're going to be taking a look at your front dash as well as your front seats just so that you have a much better idea of how much space there is. With uh, the SE upgrade you have your leather and cloth interior seat surfaces and if we just take a look over on your left hand side you have your rear controls as well as your heated steering wheel and your window wiper de-icer. On the inside of your driver's side door you have your window locks, power locks, window controls, both your front and rear windows. A couple of the controls you're going to see on your steering wheel are your volume control, Bluetooth scroll function, mode select, voice recognition, and then you have your scroll function for your trip information for your multi-informational display as well as your lane departure alert, and then you have your cruise control just located down below. Now the nice thing with the driver's side is you have this nice multi-informational display. So with your multi-informational display you can actually scroll through a couple of your different menus through here. Um, so you have a couple of different settings through here. You have an eco indicator as well as a sway warning control. And then you can also go through your cruise control as well as your messages. And then you can adjust your settings for your lane departure alert as well as your pre-collision system. And if you take a look at the very top of the screen you're going to see your exterior temperature gauge. Now to start, or I should say we're going to be taking a look at your center dash as well as your touch panel display. At the very top here you can see your digital clock and then for 2017 they redesigned this touch panel display before you had the buttons just located on the side. It's actually touch now so when you actually press it it actually goes directly to the menu just without having to press the button. Now you have your general voice display as well as a couple of other additional features with your hazard lights. You have your temperature control settings just located down below with your automatic climate control. And then you have your power outlet with your two heated seat controls and you have your USB and your auxiliary port. Matted to a CVT transmission, you also have your traction control on and off as well as your sport mode. And then if we take a look at the very top here, you're going to see your power moonroof open and closed and your tilt up and down feature just if you want to have a bit of a breeze flowing through here. And then the other nice thing is you also have the visor extensors just located on both your driver and your passenger side uh, just in case you forget your sunglasses at home so that you Finally, we'll be taking a look at your rear cargo area as well as your tailgate. Now located on the back of your tailgate, you're going to find your backup camera just located right underneath your Toyota emblem. And one of the nice things with the SC upgrade is it does come with a keyless entry system as well as an automatic trunk release. So if we actually take a look at your key fob, you have your lock, unlock, trunk release as well as your panic button. So if you hold down on your trunk release for approximately two seconds, it'll open up automatically for you. Now I'm just going to close in on the rear cargo area just so that you have a much better idea of how much space there is. Now the nice thing with this space is if you need the additional um, capacity for storage just because you're uh, taking your tires away, you can actually fold down that 60-40 split second row. And then if we actually just take a look at the very front here, you're going to see your spare tire as well as your jack and your toolkit. Just in case you do find yourself in a bit of a pinch, you know exactly where it's located. One of the things I really like with the Corolla is that even though it is considered um, a compact sized car, it does have a lot of room for all your um, stuff just in case you do need to uh, take a lot of stuff away. Thank you so much folks for watching this video today. If you have any questions, please visit us. We're located at 31 Automall Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada. The phone number is 780-306-1005 or please visit our website at sptoyota.com to get us by email. Once again, folks, thank you so much for watching this video today. If you have any comments or any additional questions, please leave them in the comment section located down below. Other than that, make sure you have a great day, and I hope to see you next time.